Hello Dreamers, this is a quick tutorial on how to change into a brand new environment without having a load time. Um, as you can see here, I'm on a moon environment for my new game. It's actually Deimos on Mars. And I have a bunch of thermo left, so there's really no point in creating a brand new scene and putting you through a load time when I can pack some more stuff into this scene without really hurting thermo. So I'm going to open up this teleport cube I'm used to demonstrate. And we are going to teleport all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so I'll peek out one more time. I'm actually going to back into this to show you how quick this really changes over. And in an instant, I'm now in a new environment lower gravity we are all the way underwater I know what you're thinking a jetpack shouldn't work underwater I'm on that I'm on that so let's take a look at how this logic actually works now it's pretty simple the beacon inside that little red orb is just a zone this is just a zone. It could be, it could have been a button input. It could really be any input at all. All it is is when you enter the zone or enter an input. And I'm going to actually try to make this microchip public for you. So I'll, I'll put a node in. You always put in a node so that when people want to input their personal input, it'll do the same thing. So you just plug in your uh, input right into this node right here, and it will automatically work for you. Now, when you enter the zone, a counter goes from 0 to 1, and it activates keyframes and sound. One keyframe is for physical things for me, and then I have one keyframe where I measure, uh, I change gravity, I change uh, small details in the level that aren't just physical items. You could do it all in one keyframe even. I just find it easier to organize having two so I know where to look for things because you're storing a whole level inside of a keyframe. So when the zone is activated, some objects are turned on and some are off. And that's all the keyframe does on top. So for example, I'll press L1 and square on my stars. Um, if I press this power button, the stars turn off. So when the keyframe is hit, the stars actually turn off here. And then a whole new set of water assets turn on uh, that you can't see right now. But if I turn preview invisibility off, there's a whole bunch of stuff here that is not visible until the keyframe powers it up. Really important you use this mode, preview invisibility, anytime you are trying to um, be able to do two worlds in one level so you can see. So that's how you teleport. That's how you move between two crazy different environments with different rules without actually having a load screen.